It presumably falls under the category offshore hotel. Spitbank Fort is located one nautical mile off the coast of southern England and is arguably the most unique venue in Britain to spend the night. Originally built to defend the entrance to the harbour of Portsmouth, it's now a luxury island escape. Merely getting there is an exciting experience, but you need to have your sea legs because the currents here are very strong. And we're now on to uh, our way to Spitbank 4. I'm uh, uh, Dominic, I've got the, uh, the fort manager, and it's literally about a 10 or 15 minute journey out. You can actually see Spitbank Fort uh, straight ahead of us. For Heather, this is a dream come true. Her husband is treating her to a stay at the former fortress for her 70th birthday. It's very exciting, really, isn't it? I'm glad it's not windier or choppier. Seen from the outside, the 138-year-old sea fort certainly doesn't look like a luxury hotel. And once they've arrived, guests have to climb the steep stairs up to their destination. To spit back four. But then the pampering begins, starting with a champagne reception. Totally different from anything I'd expected. Um, and I didn't think we'd still have these um, walls, the rough walls, and all these little sort of off rooms. I think it's marvellous. This is where arms and gunpowder were once stored. Now it's a welcoming lounge. The sea fort is perfect for a quiet, relaxing mini break. British entrepreneur Mike Clare bought the fort in 2009 for some 1.3 million euros. He invested another 4 million euros in converting the site into a luxury retreat. So your key is outside. During your stay, you'll be in the uh, Admiral Churchill suite. So, okay. Welcome oh to Oh, my your goodness. Suite. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. You wouldn't think it would be so big, would you? Compared with the rest of the fort, it's incredible. And as I said, this was one of the, uh, the seaward facing gun rooms, so there right. would have been a 12 and a half inch cannon facing out to sea there, yeah. and that would have taken up all this room. There's a total of nine such suites at Spitbank Fort, each one decorated in a different style. Even usually hard to please, Graham is happy. I think it will fit the both of us, <laughs> with room to spare. For some €6,300 a day, you can rent the entire place for yourself and your friends. Up to 200 soldiers were once stationed here, down in the rooms on the lower levels. Today, it's a place for guests to enjoy peace and quiet, as well as a drink in the bar. historic tour is another highlight of a stay here. As you can see, we still have the uh, original grooves in the, uh, the floor where the guns and the cannons would have been uh, moved around and you can see the hooks up on the, uh, the ceiling to move them into uh, position. A small museum shows what life used to be like when the fort was in operation. 200 soldiers' food uh, was prepared here. We've obviously filled this with various uh, military uh, artefacts and we sometimes scare our new chefs by uh, telling them that this is going to be their kitchen. Spitbank is one of four sea forts that lie between Portsmouth and the Isle of Wight, built in the 19th century to defend the harbour entrance against the French. But the forts were never actually used defensively, and 34 years ago, the British Ministry of Defence decommissioned them. The soldiers stationed here slept in hammocks. Today, the luxury suites can accommodate a total of 18 guests at a time. Most stay for just a night or two, happy to lap up the luxuries that the original residents could only have dreamed of. There we are, surprise. <laughs>